Hey everyone out there on YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick tour of my study and some of my books. They're mostly Christian reform books, uh, Puritans, commentaries, things like that. So I always find these things pretty fun to watch, so I figured I'd show you around and show you some of my favorite books. Okay, here we go. Um, this is my favorite shelf right here. Pretty sure I've got um, this book that came out. I don't know if you're familiar with it, Meet the Puritans. Pretty much like a massive biography of all the Puritans and their modern reprints. Um, it's really, really good. Just a fun read. Quick little biography that's by Jill Beakey. So pick that up. It's a nice hardback Smith zone. Um, so that's great. Here I have all of Calvin's commentaries, as you can see. Um, it's the Baker Books edition. It's glued. Um, but yeah, I mean, it goes across this whole shelf right here. Uh, 22 volumes. Here I have Herman Vitzius's Economy of the Covenants about covenant theology. It's pretty much a must-have if you uh, want to know about covenant theology or you don't know. And I highly recommend getting this with it. I got this from Reformation Heritage Books. It's an analysis of Herman Vitzius's Economy of the Covenants by Joel Beakey. Um, and it is very helpful on kind of going along with it helps you outline his work since it's pretty hard to navigate it's pretty confusing um, it's not too bad moving on I've got the works of Jonathan Edwards by Banner of Truth works of Thomas Brooks um, again these are all cloth bound Smithsone volumes for much anything by Banner of Truth will be the works of Stephen Charnock John Flavel um, I really haven't been able to dip into Charnock or Flavel too much though I have in Edwards and Brooks quite a bit. Um, moving on down to this shelf, we've got the works of George Swinnick. Uh, I got these used. Uh, Hebrews, I got that as a Christmas present a couple of years ago. It's by John Owen, his massive magnum office commentary on Hebrews. I uh, really haven't delved into that too much except for just... Um, consulting it on various occasions while preparing sermons. Here, I wish I had the full 16 works, and I'm hoping to save up for the full 16 works of John Owen, but I have some of his more practical works, volumes 1, 2, 3, and 6, um, as well as 10, but I think 10's up there, so I'll get to that later. Um, this is my favorite, one of my favorite books. Owen's a little hard to read, um, but once you get used to him, he's not too bad. But this is Communion with God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit distinctly. Um, just an amazing, amazing book. Um, highly recommend that you get that. Another one is Of Temptation and Sin, another amazing book. Um, I think I've read The Mortification of Sin, just that first book. Oh, geez. Four or five times now, so. Um, and I'd like to read it more. I by no means even really understood it all. Um, Here's Tansky's edition, three volumes of the works of Thomas Adams, the Puritan. He's called the Shakespeare of the Puritans. Um, and if you're looking for his works, it'll be these three. Um, and it will not come with this. This is an exposition of 2 Peter. Massive. As you know, the book of 2 Peter is not very big. But this commentary upon it is. Um, but it's very readable. Great to have. Kind of small print. It's just massive, massive commentary. It's over 800 pages, so you cannot get this with the collected works, but you can buy it probably used online or um, from Solid Ground Christian Books. I think they still have some brand new ones. Um, anyway, these are all cloth-bound, Smithsonian volumes. Moving on, I've got The Treasury of David. Yes, I know it's three volumes. Um, this isn't... Or, uh, the original is seven volumes, and I know that these are three, but these still are the full works of the Treasury of David. All they've done is take out uh, the index to all the modern authors, or the authors that he consulted back then, um, because most of them you can't buy anymore, but it still has the notes by various authors. Um, I mean, it's the full Treasury of David. This does have different signatures in it, and I don't think it's sewn. I think it's glued. And covers, fine, whatever. Uh, Majesty and Misery, my fiance has the other two volumes, I just have volume one, they're on her bookcase, so uh, there's that. Spurgeon's Commentary on Matthew, an amazing volume. 
Miracles and Parables of Our Lord. Again, I have just volume one. My fiance has the other two volumes. And then I just picked up a couple of random Metropolitan Tabernacle pulpits, um, volumes 1866 and 1867. So, again, Charles Spurgeon sermons are always worth picking up. Charles Spurgeon sermon notes, one volume. Uh, it's replacing um, one of the volumes I have of Spurgeon sermons, the Hendrickson edition. It's a five volume set. I just have four right now because I'm loaning out the other one. So, that's filling that spot. Uh, these are not sewn. These are glued. Um, but I don't think that doesn't necessarily means that they won't hold up. This one's kind of bent because a friend was reading it and didn't know that you couldn't fold it back. <laughs> so it kind of split the glue. But other than that, they're great. Um, kind of hard to read in times. Sometimes the text is kind of spotty and not very dark. So, But regardless, if it's Spurgeon, buy it pretty much is my rule. Works of William Bates. You can still find this online, I believe, at Reformation Heritage as well as um, possibly Christian Book. I know they used to have it, but it's by Sprinkle Publications. Uh, the works of William Bates. I think I said that name. Maybe I said a different name. But anyway, it's the complete works of William Bates. Um, his treatment of divine meditation alone, which is in volume three, is worth its weight in gold. James Durham on lectures on Job. Um, he's pretty readable. Scottish Puritan. This is his Christ Crucified the Marrow of the Gospel and 72 Sermons on Isaiah 53. Um, very readable, beautiful typeset edition of his works. Here. Um, I do not have his commentary on Song of Solomon. I really want it though. But yeah, this is a beautiful volume. Smith's own. And coming down here, there's my clock. It's a wonderful volume for helping me tell time. These are the works of Richard Sibbs. These are all came in a set. I don't know why they're different colors, and some of them don't have the volume names for some reason, but they're great. Um, volume 1, which contains the bent reed and the smoking flax, is amazing. And then back behind there that you can see, is the complete works of Thomas Manton put out by Solid Ground Christian Books. It's in 22 volumes, has a great index in volume 22. Um, amazing, amazing. I consult him frequently. And this is my favorite book in the world. Christian and Complete Armor by William Gurnall, the Puritan. Hendrickson has an edition that's a bigger font. It's still the same exact book, but it's larger font. And it is... Uh, not sewn, it's glued and it falls apart kind of easy, but this one's the Banner Truth Edition. If you can still find it somewhere, get it. Um, this is a book that will never wear out. Um, not just in terms of the actual book itself, but the content is invaluable. Okay, I think that's it for this video. I'm going to film the other sections in different parts. So that's the end of part one.